All right, this one is a 100% cotton t-shirt, but it has not been soaked in soda ash. It has been just soaked in water and then spun in the washing machine until it's damp, but no soda ash in this one. So I've marked the center point, go ahead and flip it inside out and do the fold where the sleeves are inside each other. And there's a separate video that's listed in the description on how to do that. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so the request was for something that was just on the sides of the shirt and under the arm. So I'm going to take under the arm literally like about like this and side of the shirt kind of torn between going straight down and kind of flaring out a little. I'll take a look going roughly straight see how that looks versus something like that. I think I'm going to go with this. Alright. So I'll go ahead and fold along this. Just do it with a regular accordion fold. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and use sinew for this, and it's going to be pretty tight pull. We don't want anything going past this point, really. So I'll touch this part up a little bit. Now you might want to mark off sections here if you want to do something specific with the die uh, as far as patterning the, the layout of the die. And take a look. Get about five inches to three inches on the size here. So, let's go ahead and do something to where it's not just straight. I don't know if I can do a one inch. That might be a little hard to do. We're going to go ahead and mark it for one inch. We're going to count that as the five there. I'm going to split this in half, roughly down that. I think that looks about like the center line. Here we go. And I'm going to split this. Looks like that pretty much rides up right there. Pretty. Oh, oh, why did it go to that? That's not right. 
Actually, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave exactly what I did here. I went based on this, and I think that's about a one and a half inch, not a one inch. Yep, pretty close. All right, so I'll leave that. And I'm going to come back opposite here. And then that is the pattern there. So, looks like a mess. It should work. Now, all of this, I'm just going to tie off and then you could bag it if you think there's a chance that you'll get dye on it. Um, covered in saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. Um, I should be able to just leave it sitting here since it doesn't have soda ash in it, dye should not bond to it. So, off to dye. All right, I'm going to be using cerulean blue, grape, and powerberry. And these are all from Dharma. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, since there is no soda ash in the shirt, sprinkling it on top of the dye itself. Let that soak through. Then we're probably just going to come back, add some more soda ash, and re-ice it and let it die through a second time from the same side. All right. So it, nothing was reapplied. It was a single amount of ice that one time. It spread quite a bit more than I was expecting. We'll see if that was soda ash water that got pulled through or if it was just dye that isn't going to bond. So let's go ahead and do the washout. So I'll throw this in the washing machine, and then we'll take a final look. This one has some boo-boos all over in here. None of that should be there. And that actually came after it was washed out. I mean, some of it was there before. Um, some of it appeared while it was in the wash, which shouldn't be because I rinsed it long enough to get all the soda ash out, so it should not have done this. Apparently I missed some soda ash and didn't clear it well enough in the sink. So, when doing these, and I, I've known this from doing them in the past, when you think you've washed all the soda ash out, you haven't washed all the soda ash out and you need to keep washing, washing and rinsing. And then when you think it's done that time, you need to keep doing it because it's still not done. But this is how you do the design overall um, as far as the placement uh, let's go ahead and try and flip it this way. So here's a side view of what it would look like. This isn't one I would sell since, you know, there is all this extra smudging in here that shouldn't be there. 
um, but it will work for the video as far as how to do the process and just make sure that you rinse everything as well as you possibly can um, so that there's no soda ash left over for this little bit to actually add. So let me know what you think about this process and until next time, thanks for watching.